Right guys, for whatever reason, you might need to create a chart like this. And I searched high and low on YouTube. I couldn't find anything that covered creating a chart like this in Google Slides. So when you can't find a solution, you create one. So I'll show you how I did this now. So first of all, get a blank slide like this. Go to your shape, insert your shape. And once you've got your first one, I would then... Uh, control C, Control V, and create a few for every option that you might have. So in this case, because it's, because it's a demonstration, I, just, I don't need that many. It's just to show you what you need to see. So, for example, and look, they line up like this to give you that red arrow. So from there, say I wanted to show that there was something flowing from there. I've got that. Now, then the problem that I had is once you have that... Um, dependency that hierarchy and dependency that's what i struggled with was getting the um, the kind of l shape or, or the elbow so you do that with this which is there and you can connect it but then you have two two problems one is you might want to have an arrow showing going down and second is when you're trying to you need the second half of the elbow so then you you, you might end up doing what i did over here um, you, you, you do this and, and here's another little trick to make a straight line you hold down uh, control if you're on a Windows key and it will do straight lines that one was pretty accurate but nevertheless sometimes you get these um, you get these edges or you just can't get it to line up you, you end up with things like this and it's really frustrating so to, in order to avoid that, it's quite simple. You get another elbow and you join it from there, going across like this, and there, that's done. Now, like I said, you might want uh, you might want the arrows show you, uh, indicating which direction it's going in. So you simply go get an arrow and you just kind of trace over it. And once again, if you hold down, down CTRL, you'll get a straight line. Sorry, not CTR, it's shift, I believe. There you go, shift. If you hold down shift, you'll get a straight line. That's a bit wonky, but let's try and move it. There you go. You get the idea. So that's that. Anyway, Google Slides has even cooler features. Um, you don't even have to do all of this. These, some of this is kind of ready-made for you. So I'll show you. Let's go to a blank slide. You and then from there, if you go to insert diagram, all of these come up on the right, and you can choose your different types of diagrams, processes, relationships, things like that. And within them, there's various options as well that are pretty cool. Now, prior to discovering this, I was doing this in Illustrator, which took me days, hours and days. And I even hired graphics designers who obviously didn't tell me that you could do this on Google Slides, and they were charging me through the nose. So there you go, look at this, like really, really simple timeline. Um, let's undo. Look at that. Like, Honestly, in this day and age, things are so easy compared to a few years back. All of this, I, ha I would have had to have hired a designer or learn Adobe Illustri Illustrator quite well or another graphics design software quite well to be able to do all of this. Now, it just saves time and money. So much opportunity out there these days if you're willing to invest some time and make a bit of effort. There you go, hierarchical charts. Anyway guys, I don't want to show you every single option that's there. Have a play with it and you can see the kind of things you can do. Anyway guys, I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please give me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. Speak to you again soon.